John Phelps here, going to run you through a little activity I've done in a lot of schools as a maths activity and both teachers and students have found them uh, really stimulating and a quite a nice example of how we can easily create tessellations. We could end up with something a little bit like this. You don't have to have the eyes where the, the student has gone to, but again, adding a little bit of fun to a, an activity. I'm going to now go into paint and I'm going to start off with a rectangle shape, but I want a square, so I'm going to hold shift and just draw out to about that size. And I'll go to the paint can and choose a color. I'm going to go with green for this, and I think I'll do the outline at the same time, so we've just got one full shape. I'm now going to go to the cookie cutter and make sure I've got transparent selection chosen. This means that the white background behind many paintings disappears, and I'm going to use the free form or cookie cutter selection. I'm just going to take something out of the left hand side here. I'm not giving much thought to what I'm doing, and to go out through the bottom is important. I'm now going to drag this little bit I've cut out and bring that to the left hand side. And that looks quite interesting. I'm now going to go back into here, get the rectangular selection, trace around what I've just done. I'm going to hold control and make a couple of copies of this. Make sure I am leaving some space. And to save time, I'll put some down the bottom of here. And we're now going to get a different color. So I'm just thinking I'll choose this color with the fill can and just change some colors in here. I can now go back to the cookie, uh, sorry, the rectangular and drag in through here. And this should fit beautifully into the place of where we've cut out from. And I'm just going to repeat this several times now. And I'm not being absolutely fastidious about where I put these things because I'm emulating what students might do. I'm going to put that into here and that is basically what the exercise entails. We can copy and paste this several times. What I'm going to do right now is trace around this again, do control C to copy. I'll sneak back to my PowerPoint and just paste this onto the page. I'm switching back to paint now. I'm just going to see how I get on with the eyes. So I'll go in here, hold shift and get a circle. I'm going to actually fill this with grey. So click on here. I'm going to go back to my favourite tool. I'm going to trace around there and just hold control to copy that. And this time I'm going to make this one a bit smaller. I'm just going to click away and trace around again and go and get the fill can and just pour into here. This time I will go there. And I think that looks not too bad actually. So I will oh, do that. I'm going to trace around here. And I know that's going to look pretty good, but I'll just hold control and move that one over there and now i'm just going to get a couple more because that might be able to speed this up a little bit and i'll trace around here and put that one across and then i've got these guys sitting here and i'll just move them into place and here again i'm saving a whole lot of time just by my control drag and put that on the page Forget about those guys, I'm now going to trace around here, control C, sneak back into this page I've created. And voila, could put mouths and things in if I wanted to. Now I'm just going to go back into here, and if you notice here, we've got a background. I want to do some more with this. We did uh, transparent on uh, in paint, but now in here I'm going to go up to format and I'm going to go into color and get rid of this white background by choosing set transparent color. And now that should be way different. So now I'm just going to go back and if I hold control now and I can just fit these little things into the page here, 